All right, so admittedly, I'm not on TikTok. However, I do follow some of the videos, you know, people share the videos all the time. Uh, and it's it's become such a popular platform, of course, for showing these videos. And, and one of the highest growing ones is what's called Clean Talk, where people are sharing these cleaning hacks. Some of them work, some of them don't. So the good people at Molly Made Canada decided they would go through some of them on our behalf and test them to find out if they work or not. I am joined by Veronique Levesque from Molly Made Canada. Veronique, wonderful to see you. And yeah, let's talk about this. I mean, I mentioned off the top, it is, it's sort of a growing segment of TikTok. It's really been growing quite a bit, hasn't it? Yes, absolutely. And some of them are not working at all <laughs> and they're myths. Uh, so we're going to go through the four cleaning hacks here from TikTok. Okay, I love it. Yeah, and uh, it, you guys must have had so much fun testing these, right? I mean, you must, I can just picture each of you because you're professionals at cleaning, right? The laughter that must have, you know, ensued from trying some of these. So let's go with one that, if, if I understand correctly, is actually a, a very good hack. It works. It's you using your Swiffer that you have at home to clean windows, right? Yes, so it's to the stretch-free Swiffer hack um, where you take a Swiffer duster and you put a microfiber cloth at the end and just your regular window cleaner spray it on the microfiber and um, you go ahead and clean those hard-to-reach windows. And, and it, our take on it, yeah. it it's, it's great. It's really? amazing. Um, yes, that way, you know, the it, people that have really high to reach windows, instead of taking a ladder, and it can be sometimes dangerous, this really helps to reach those high corners, especially. Veronique, do you at Molly made that, like, have you implemented some of these cleaning hacks that actually work? Not yet, because okay. they're still, still all brand new, <laughs> but uh, we are looking into them for sure. Yeah, I know, I have to ask, right? I have to ask. Uh, this one is a really interesting one. It is called the Colorful Toilet Overload. It frightens me in one way, but in another, I'm very intrigued. Does this work or not work? So, yeah, so this one is to put a bunch of cleaning products, dump them all in your toilet bowl, and then that should make it all clean. Okay. Now, our take on this, don't do it. Okay. It's really, <laughs> it can be really harmful to mix all these cleaning products together. Right. Um, and some of them are a little harsher than others. So we do not recommend to do that. Take one cleaning product, a good toilet bro uh, brush yeah. and uh, just rub away with that. Yeah, and let's not forget, I mean, these are these are chemicals. We don't know how they're going to react with each other, right? And just start dumping them around. You could have like your child's volcano experiment happening in your, happening in your toilet and nobody wants that. Uh, next up is the fabric softener on the walls. And this is the fabric softener, I guess, that you pour into your, you know, when you're doing laundry, not, not one of the fabric softener sheets, right? Yes, the liquid one. Okay. So what you're seeing on TikTok is to put one part of fabric fa uh, softener and three parts of water in a spray bottle. Okay. Spray that on your wall and to wash your wall with it. And after experience it, our take on it is actually the fabric softener will attract the dust on the wall over time. Oh, really? Uh, so we do not recommend to do that, no. So, yeah, and, and so, from, from what I read, Veronique, is it actually, it looks good in the beginning, right? It, it looks, oh, it's, it's lovely and clean, but I, I guess it leaves a bit of a residue afterwards? Exactly, exactly, okay. a residue. And because of that residue, that's what will actually attract the dirt on the wall. So ah. you really want to avoid that. Just good old, you know, one part vinegar, Good old vinegar and one part of water in that spray bottle, and that should do the trick. I if love you're it. looking to have a nice scent, just add a bit of uh, essential oil in it. Oh, okay, yeah, great idea. Uh, let's look at the scrub-free hack for pots and pans. This one I'm very intrigued in because every once in a while you get those scorched pots and pans. If you just kind of forget that you've left something on the stove, what kind of hack have you seen? Mm -hmm. So the hack that I've seen is to use a oven cleaner, uh, Easy Off, which is great to clean oven to take off all that dirt under your pots and pans. Okay. And uh, after testing it and looking into this, we our take on it is we don't recommend it. And actually, really? the makers of Easy Off do not recommend put it uh, the product on stainless steel 
uh, pots and pans that okay. will uh, take off the color from the stainless steel, make it rust really easily. Yeah, and it's kind of, I mean, let's be honest, that stuff is kind of toxic, right? I mean, the reason why it's an oven cleaner is because you spray it, you close it, you leave it. I mean, I think they even recommend in the label, right, that you wear a mask, uh, be, you know, before you even start cleaning it off, right? Yes, yes. If you want a safer way, uh, I would recommend using baking soda. So just sprinkle baking soda on top of your pan and then either use vinegar or lemon juice, okay. that acidity will work with the baking soda and making it fizzy. And once that's done, just take a, a scrub sponge and just scrub it off. Excellent. Thank you so much oh. for joining us, Veronique. We'll be right back after this.